my family now whenever there is an event in the uk a major event or even when they're all family go on holiday the main question that the uk public media will ask is whether prince harry is coming to attend an event in the uk i mean my family we are not even in the month of june yet only a few days ago charles refused to see his son prince harry when harry was in the uk but already you are having carnival of so experts asking if prince harry will come over to see charles my family in balmoral when he goes to balmoral will harry come over and see charles already questions are being asked Yet only a few days ago, Charles refused to see his own son. He said he was too busy to see his son Harry. Just a few days ago. But already, UK media are looking for an occasion where Prince Harry can come over back to the UK. And for what? For what? For what? For the media and for senior members of the royal family to look for a moment or something to use to humiliate harry with because clearly to me that's the only thing that they want my family the only thing that the media really really want that's what the firm wants and they are the media trying to find a way to get harry in the uk because they also want content for themselves and now the question being asked right now is if Harry is going to come over and attend the Duke of Westminster's wedding. That's the question that my family is being asked. And this story has evolved for a very, very long time now. It's evolved from Prince Harry has been snubbed by the Duke of Westminster. Hugh Gosvena from attending his wedding to Carnival of so-called expert Liz Jones Prickly writing an article for the Daily Mail saying this my family that why Britain why, why Britain's poshest wedding is the perfect time for William to make amends with Prince Harry and that Harry Meghan and their kids should attend Hugh Grosvenor's wedding. <laughs> this story keeps on evolving. Tomorrow, you will hear a different story again. Over and over again. UK Media have an interest in creating drama around Harry and Meghan. And they like to use Harry Baker's name, their names, to create drama around them. My family, the fact is, and the main point here is this. Prince Harry has my family made it very clear. There is no way he can ever bring Meghan, Archie, Lilibet to the UK without receiving the adequate, effective, armed security he wants to keep Megan Archie Lilibet safe. So whenever you see these stories, Harry and Megan and their kids will attend Hugh Kozvena's wedding and then you hear nothing about security. Just know that my family, once again, UK media are just using Harry and Megan's names for clicks. To make money off of using Harry Megan's names, to exploiting Harry Megan's names to make money for themselves. Getting drama and stories about Harry Megan to get clicks. That's what the UK tablet media are doing and keep on doing over and over and over again. Because I am sure that they know there's no way Harry comes over and even brings Archie a little bit to the UK. When my family, he hasn't been given the security that my family he needs.
to protect Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. No way Harry does that. No way Harry, my family, brings his family, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, to a place that he knows is unsafe for them. And my family, you've seen what has happened even a few weeks ago. Whereby Prince Harry issued a statement. He said his father is too busy to see him. And he understands. He understands that the king has his own program. Prince Harry said why he was unable to see the king because he was too busy. And what has happened after that? You've had different versions of why Charles refused to see his own son Harry. To the point also of Ukimina saying that Prince Harry was invited to stay in a royal my family residence by Charles. And that Harry is the one who snubbed Charles by refusing to stay in a place that Charles has told him, had told him he can stay in. A place whereby it is said that my family, you know, Harry will not have his privacy, will not be able to enjoy privacy. It's a place whereby my family it is a public entrance entrance and exit whereby anyone can enter. Charles thought that my family maybe can give Harry that place to stay in because he wants to feed and please the wolves, the UK media, by offering his son up on a silver platter for them to say and do to, to him whatever it is they want to do. Now my family, I have no idea if Harry even was offered a place to stay. Harry has not my family, you know, talked about this publicly. The only thing he said is that Charles was too busy to see him. That's what my family had said. And ever since then, the ballet has leaked its own agenda, has leaked their own stories. You know? Oh, you know what, Charles? He invited Prince Harry to stay in a royal residence, but Harry, you know, snubbed Charles' offer. Passing the blame on Prince Harry. Because Charles could see how bad it looked refusing to see his son. My family is had to come with his, with his own story, of his own reasons, full of lies of why he could not see his son. The royal family have been briefing and leaking relentlessly against Harry Meghan. And my family, what Chucky Media have done over the past even couple of days really, is come up with narrative after narrative after narrative over and over again. Prince Harry only said one thing, the truth, and my family, he was done. But the firm has had to come up with multiple narratives of why Charles refused to see his own son, even passing the blame on Prince Harry, and said that it's Harry's fault. It's Harry who's the one who snubbed Charles. My family, now imagine what would happen if Harry was to come over to the UK and then bring his kids, bring Archie, bring Lilibet Diana. Just imagine what UK they would do. How many narratives the farm and UK media would come up with. Because clearly what UK media are doing here is that they want Harry Meghan to give UK media more opportunities to come up with lies and make up stories targeting Harry Meghan. That to profit from Harry Meghan using their names, their pictures, their image, their brand while demanding that Harry Meghan make no money for themselves. My family, that's what UK media want. Now my family, particularly here, what um, they have come up with right now, once again, about this Duke of Westminster's wedding. My family. It's like, I feel like <laughs> Carnival of Stockholm Sports are told Find a way to input Harry's name or Megha's name onto this story. <laughs> I feel like that's what all of them are told to do. And that's what they do over and over again. Now my family, Carnival of so-called expert Liz Jones says that the only sad note is that Prince Harry, one of the Duke of 
Most ministers, oldest friends, won't be there grinning, hugging, and blowing kisses. Harry Meghan was sent as save the date, but have since declined. Not a decision that they make lightly. He, after all, is Prince Archie's godfather. My family, Harry and Meghan, have never ever mentioned publicly the name of their kids' godparents. They have never ever said that publicly. Never. Never. My family, I just had to note that. And Lee Jones says that whatever the Duke of Westminster made of it in private, it seems he has insisted that his mate, Prince Harry, attend. <laughs> Clearly, the ones who want him to insist are the UK media. That way, they are able to create drama around someone else's wedding. My family. You know, that's what UK Media wanted to do, to create drama around, you know, Hugh Grosvenor's wedding, to lay in their own pockets. You know? And they want someone else to make that plea for them. Harry, come over. Harry, come over and attend this event. Harry was just in the UK. And my family, when he was there, still UK Media, have been so insulting towards him. You know, the smear campaign has never ever stopped for so many years. It continues even to this day. The smear campaign against Harry and Meghan. It's never ever stopped. But still, you are having the carnival of so-called experts being like, Harry and Meghan, come over here to your abusers, you know, to perform for us. Come and attend this event, Harry. You know, he's your oldest friend, Harry. Come over here and attend this event. You know, you should insist that Harry attend. And who does that benefit? It benefits the UK media if Harry attends. It benefits the UK media if Harry is in the UK. Because they're able to make a fortune if Harry is there. From his pictures of, from pictures of Prince Harry. From creating stories around him and family. You know? Which is clearly my family, what Turkey Media are fully, fully interested in. And my family, Harry must not offer himself up to the toxic UK Media. My family is not to exploit him and make money off of him. You know? My family, and uh, they are saying, a friend of Harry has told the Times, Harry's friends don't speak to media outlets owned by Rupert Murdoch. To me, that's very clear. But the so-called friend <laughs> says this. It's sad it has come to this. Hugh is one of the very, very close friends of William and Harry, who has maintained strong bonds with both. And that he wishes they could put their heads together and patch things up but realizes it's unlikely to happen before the wedding. He wanted to avoid anything overshadowing the day, especially for Olivia, and doesn't want any awkwardness. <laughs> My family, honestly, this word of overshadow and stuff is normally used by the media over and over again. It's used by the palace over and over again. So these aren't Harry's friends who are speaking to the media. These, my family, are William's people who are speaking to the UK media and are saying, friends of Prince Harry. Friends of Harry don't speak to the murdoch owned press. And that is, my family, a fact. And my family, Liz Jones says that weddings are when family and friends should put aside any differences, any squabbles, and turn up with a smile on their faces. Wedding gifts are understandably banned on this occasion because of how wealthy the Duke of Westminster is. He doesn't want gifts. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't want the guests 
to bring him gifts because he can afford to buy what he wants to buy. And uh, my family, basically, as I continue with my family, what I am uh, saying here, we all saw what happened when the queen passed away. Even during a funeral, Ukimedia could not say, let's pause our the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. Even for on the day of the Queen's funeral, even after the Queen passed away and the mourning period that followed, UK Media could not say, hold it with the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. They couldn't hold it. They continued with their smear campaign against Harry Meghan. What makes them think that even if Harry attends this wedding, that my family, you know, you'll see differences put aside. <laughs> My family, and thing is, Yuki Media, as I've always said, they don't want to see any kind of healing or mending of any rift between William and Harry or Charles and Harry. What they want is conflict. What they want is to pit William versus Harry, Harry versus William, and in the future also pit George, Lewis, and Charlotte versus Archie and Lilibet. Because as Harry said, the Business model of the community depends or relies on members of the royal family being at odds with each other. That's what the UK media want. That's what they fully, fully care for, or my family care about. That's what they care about. They don't want peace. My family, if during the Queen's funeral, they could not even say, or even Tell themselves to pull the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. If even then, Harry and Meghan experienced the worst form of abuse when they were in the UK, why would they bring themselves over for what? To experience what they experienced when they were in the UK? With Meghan being bullied when the nation was apparently mourning, the media couldn't pause their bullying of Meghan even for a day. They could not. They could not. You have Charles here calling Harry, telling him, don't bring Meghan to Bamoro while abusing his wife. While abusing Meghan, Harry's wife. And then you can media wonder why Prince Harry, you know, fled the UK. They wonder why Meghan won't set foot in the UK. You know, Meghan, please keep on Protecting your peace and happiness. Never ever let anyone destroy your peace and your mental health, Megan. Protect your peace and your mental health. And Liz Jones says, it isn't about you. It's about the happy couple. And then she says, I for one, says Liz Jones, would love to see little Archie and Sister Lily Bet all dressed up and would happily Spend hours dissecting Megan's outfit. You say it isn't about you. It isn't about Harry and Megan. And then you say, I would love to see Harry, Megan, and their kids. <laughs> you say it isn't about you. And then you say, I would love to dissect Megan's outfit, what she wore for the wedding. I would love to see Archie and Lilibet dress up, all dressed up, my family, says Liz Jones. Liz Jones, Harry and Megan are free to do what they want. They aren't clowns who are supposed to perform for you, who you expect to come out dress up for you and perform for you for your pleasure megan archie lilibet are free harry is free harry megan archie lilibet are free to do what they want my family when they want to and if someone is really a fan they'll be happy that harry and megan have the freedom to decide but what Liz Jones is doing here is that my family, she wants Archie, Lilibet, to come out and dress up for her. So she can, you know, talk about it, write columns about it, and make money 
from whinging, mourning about Meghan, Harry, and their kids. And she wants the cast members of my family this uh, game who have refused to play a part in this game of the media to offer themselves up and perform for the media. When are these people going to understand how I make them refuse to play the game? How I make them refuse to hand over the kids to their abusers, the toxic media. How they can refuse to do that? You know? And my family, may Harry and Megan never ever allow their abusers anywhere near them or anywhere near their children. May Harry and Megan never allow their abusers anywhere near them or anywhere near their kids, my family. You know? So my family, really, what Liz Jones is showing here is that she wants to turn this wedding of the Duke of Westminster into my family a show. That's what, you know, Liz Jones, my family wants. A show that my family, she likes. You know, every day I'm so thankful that Harry and Meghan are paying their own bills, that they are financially independent. Because the fact is, thanks to them being financially independent, they're able to make decisions, my family, on their own lives, on what they want, you know, in my family, their lives. They don't have to please anybody but themselves, my family. And clearly what Harry and Meghan want to keep on doing is protecting the privacy of their kids, is ensuring that their kids grow up living normal lives as normal as possible, my family. That's what Harry and Meghan want. Their kids want to be bothered whereby they are expected to do this and that. Whereby they are expected to come up and to come out and dress up for Liz Jones' pleasure, for Liz Jones' amusement. My family, Harry and Meghan don't want that for their kids. They want to protect their kids from people like Liz Jones. My family. And, 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 and as you can see here, my family, please, is that clearly she has this interest in Archie, Lilibet, and Megan being there to perform for her. Being there, that's where she can have something to whinge about, about what did Megan wear? You know, how much is the cost of her dress? How much is the cost of my family, you know, the hat she, she, she has? What's the cost of her handbag? What's the cost of her shoes? That's what Liz Jones wants to do. You know? And she wants Harry to present himself with his family for this wedding. That way Liz Jones and the community can turn this wedding, my family, into creating drama around Harry and Meghan. And then blaming that drama they've created on Harry and Meghan. That's what they do over and over again. By now, people must have catched on to how the UK Tabloid media normally operates. You know? Liz Jones, Archie Lilibet, orange clowns who are expected to perform for you. They're kids. They are kids. They are innocent kids who are loved by their parents. Who people like you are so abusive and clearly racist are never ever going to be anywhere around Harry Megan's kids. You must learn to accept that Prince Harry Megan have already said zero engagement with the Wikimedia. But over and over again, we see the level of entitlement that members of the Rota have, whereby they feel entitled to the lives of Harry Megan, to what they do, to how they to where they go, where they should go, or where they shouldn't go. They feel entitled over Harry Megan's lives. Harry Megan are free, and it's high time. The abusers accept that Harry Megan are free. You know? And then Liz Jones says that perhaps the Duke of Westminster is worried the star power of Harry Megan will cause a distraction. A media circus. He 
has always protected his privacy. But I doubt a young man with several hundred years of inherited wealth and privilege in his back pocket possesses such a fragile ego. <laughs> well, you can be sure about one thing. It is William who has that fragile ego. It is William who is full of envy towards Harry Meghan Starpaw. It's, it's William and Charles and Kate and Camilla who are full of envy of Harry and Meghan. And that's why they keep on trying to destroy Harry and Meghan. That's why they keep on trying to break Harry and Meghan. And that's why they keep on failing because my family, Harry and Meghan, have always been good people. And no wonder the smear campaign keeps on failing. Because the smear campaign was always built on a lie. The smear campaign towards Meghan and Harry has been built on a foundation of lies. And no wonder it keeps on failing. Harry and Meghan are good people. And they are always going to be extremely famous. William and Charles and Kate Camilla, they can't match up to who Harry and Meghan are. Amazing, remarkable human beings. And may Harry and Meghan keep on my family being blessed. You know? My family... Now, Liz Jones says that, you know, front page photographs of William and Harry suited and booted, slapping each other on the back would have brought about a national sigh of relief after so many difficult years. Forget the Euros, Wimbledon, the Olympic Games in Paris. That would have been the spirit lifting image of the summer if even they can bury the hatchet. Then so we can, then so can we heal the rifts in our own lives. But no. My family, according to Liz Jones, the rift that William has with Harry is also the rift that my family, she has in her own life. And that if Harry and William can heal or mend you know, fences with each other, can reconcile, then even Liz Jones can heal the rift in her own life. My family, you know, let me just kindly say this. Harry and Meghan's lives, future, destiny, my family is it's Harry and Meghan who control their future, their lives, and their destiny. Nobody controls yours or mine. We control our own futures. My family make decisions on, on what we want to do. I mean, God has given all of us the power of free will to decide what we want. Your life can't revolve around William and Harry's rift. It can't. It should not. My family, you've been given your own free will, the power of free will, whereby you can decide what you want to do in your life. You've, you've been given that in a power of free will. You know? And my family, it is so wrong for Liz Jones to say the stuff that my family is saying, that if even they can bury the hatchet, then so can we heal the rift in our own lives. My family, when the monarchy is ever abolished, what's going to happen with the rota? <laughs> what are they going to do with their own lives when the monarchy is abolished in the UK? They're going to have to be trained in getting real jobs, which my family will be very, will be very, very difficult. To ask someone who's worked for a tablet and then bringing them to a media outlet that is my family reputable, it's going to be very, very difficult. Very, very, extremely, my family difficult. It's going to be very, very difficult. Because the way they speak, my family, with the way they speak or with the way they they talk and make up stuff, my family. You know, honestly, you know, I always I do have to wonder what happens if the monarchy is ever abolished. What's gonna happen with the Rota who are not living from coming through our family? What's gonna happen with them? <laughs> they're going to have to get the real they, they're going to have to get real jobs. And I feel like that scares them. It scares them, it terrifies them. Even when Harry spoke in spare about the community attacking him and Megan, saying that Harry Megan living there. 
the royal family was them was they basically you know destroying the monarchy and i said how come how come i'm the spare i'm the spare william is the heir i'm the spare so then how come me leaving can destroy the monarchy how so how so am i from let me quote what harry said about that my family let me say what prince harry said about that because they find that Prince Harry wasn't found very, very important for purposes of you know reference and also my family Harry spoke the truth my family let me read you this part and I quote make no mistake it's an insult cried Daily Mail which convened a Fleet Street jury to consider our crimes among them was the Queen's ex secretary who concluded with his fellow jurors that we should expect no mercy i shook my head no mercy the language of war clearly this was more than simple anger these men and women saw me as an existential threat if our leaving posed a threat to the monarchy as some were saying then it posed a threat to all those covering the monarchy for a living hence we had to be destroyed says uh prince harry the duke my family of success i think harry said it better than i possibly could have with the media you know harry said it better than my family you know we could have my family UK media are responsible for completely destroying my family any bond Harry and William may have had with each other UK media are fully fully responsible I feel like but what also Liz Jones is saying my family she's saying that uh, basically that if Harry and William can bury the hatchet then so can we heal the rifts in our own lives Liz Jones, do you feel guilty about creating this rift between Harry and William and ensuring that, you know what, it completely just uh, goes from bad to worse? Do you feel guilty? Because if you did feel guilty, then you stop asking Harry and William, and Harry and, sorry, Harry and Meghan to bring their kids over to the UK to come back and perform for you, to come, up, to come back and play, dress up for you, if you feel guilty. If you feel guilty, you'd be happy to know that Archie, Lilibet are, you know, growing up as normal kids, enjoying their privacy. You'd be happy to know that, but it bothers you. It bothers you because you can't exploit Archie, Lilibet when they're living in America. It's difficult to make money off of them. And so you come up with this stuff. This uh, lies, this stuff, demanding that, you know, Harry and Meghan bring over their kids to perform for you. You are showing that you aren't sorry. Your actions are showing that you aren't sorry. Your actions are showing that all you care about is money. Is to make money off of, you know, Harry and Meghan's names. Off of getting drama around Harry and Meghan. You know, we all have. The power of free will, where we can decide what we want to do with our lives. You know? And I'm happy that Harry and Meghan have that power now to decide what they want to do with their own lives. And they've chosen to be as far away as possible from their abusers, the Wikimedia media and the firm. And clearly, they have made the right decision. And Liz Jones says that wedding for funerals are when you grow up and show up. Would William really throw a hissy fit if Harry came along? I doubt it. Says Liz Jones. That any serious illness lends perspective. You hug ever closer. William knows he has bigger worries in his personal life right now. Says Liz Jones. My family, William obviously is intimidated by Harry's star power 
And what I believe he's angry about is that he has tried so hard to break Harry and Meghan and he has failed. I feel like he's so angry about that. And also that he's been exposed as Mr. Incandescent with rage, someone who can't control his temper, and someone who physically assaulted his own brother, Prince Harry. William hates that he has been exposed. And he's angry at Harry for that. And also, but, but he's more angry that Harry is living his best life. You know? So yeah, William will throw a hissy fit. Whenever even Harry is, is in the UK, William throws a hissy, a hissy fit, my family. William comes out and acts like he's doing an engagement on the same day Harry is in the UK. That's how he is. On the other, on the other days, he's on vacation and doing whatever it is he wants to do, my family. Because the guy is full of envy towards Harry Meghan. That's how William is. And that's how my family is always, you know, been. And William isn't a good person. And Harry also is much better off without having someone like William around him. Someone who can't control his temper. Because William cannot control his temper. And Harry is better off far away from that person. Harry is much, much better off my family. You know, Liz Jones is mad that she can't see, photograph, and abuse Harry and Meghan and their kids openly. Harry and Meghan don't care about their grand starting weddings and stuff. They just want to protect their peace and happiness. And the abusers, like Liz Jones, are upset that they can't use Harry and Meghan as scapegoats and shields for whatever is happening with William and Kim Milton. You know, and Kate also won't attend the wedding either. Are you can be asking, you know, how come Kate can attend my family? How come? You know, because Charles has cancer and he's seen publicly. Kate, they say, had cancer and she has never been seen publicly ever since last year. So, really, what they want here is for Harry and Meghan to be to serve as distractions for whatever's going on with the emotion. Harry and Meghan, protect your peace and protect your mental health. Don't let anyone ruin or destroy the strides that you've made to protect your peace, Harry Megan. Protect it and make no apologies for protecting your peace and your mental health. Make no apologies, Harry Megan, for protecting your peace and your mental health. Make no apologies for that. You know? My family. I think I have say my family what I need to say really here. But if you can add anything is that Harry Megan, protect your peace, your happiness, your mental health. Don't let anyone ruin it. Ruin it. Don't let anyone ruin or destroy your mental health. Protect your peace. Protect your sanity. Your mental health. Protect it. Don't take yourself to a place whereby it's toxic for you. Don't put yourselves, you know, in a place whereby it's unsafe. And clearly UK is unsafe for Archie Megan. A little bit, and even for Harry himself, Harry and Meghan, stay in a place where you feel safe in your home in Montecito in America. Have fun, enjoy yourselves, go out, have fun, you know, be happy, and make no apologies for choosing happiness and peace. Harry and Meghan, make no apologies. And my family, with that, and so much more. Stay tuned on this video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Petana. And may no good for us, Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Petana ever prosper. Stay tuned on this video. Love you also forever. And may God bless you all, my family. May God bless each and every single one of you. Hello, members of this Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more.
Stay tuned for our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.